Just a word on the Brighton side. Uh, it's a three centre-back formation that they're lining up with. Now, they have played three at the back for the last three matches, six times in total this season. But it seems to have served them well of late because they've managed to uh, eke out a few decent results after a little bit of a dodgy spell. But uh, they won last time out. Their win over Derby was their second successive victory. So they come here with a bit of confidence. And it'll be interesting to see how they shape up. This, incidentally, is their final game of the Premier League 2 season. And here they are in possession with uh, Cashman. Danny Cashman playing it out wide. That's a decent ball whipped in, and it means that Harry Tyra just had to flick that behind for the corner. Yeah, it was a decent ball in. The lad advanced down that right-hand side and whipped a first-time ball in. Harry had to get something on it. Uh, we, all right, weren't drifting into the goal, but uh, he wasn't to know that. It's a, it's a dele uh, decent delivery into the box. In fact, both were pushed down a place after last night's results in the uh, Premier League two games. Here's a chance maybe for Josh Bowler. Oh. Wow, we were right behind that. And for a moment, it did look as though it was going to nestle into the top corner of Carl Rushworth's net. Yeah, it certainly did. It's a great ball from Rhys Hughes. He's picked it up in midfield. He's switched it to uh, Josh Bowler. And he, he always fancied him coming inside. He always likes to get onto his left foot. And he, I thought he was going in when he struck it. And he unfortunately just went over the crossbar. Leonard's ball and uh, well left by Spong for Tani Moho. And Tani Moho drills it goalwards and Harry Tyra holds on to it at the second attempt. Yeah, he did well in the end, Harry, because it's fizzed across. It's a great little dummy. It's neat and tidy from Brighton. Here's Jack Spong again. Now Teddy Jenks. He brings in Furlong. Furlong's delivery is a teasing one across the face of the six yard box and almost caused real concern for Everton. It's a great ball put across there, this six yard box. Probably three or four players missed it. That's a great ball. Chance for Josh Bowler to get him behind, and he's done that. Can he hold off his mum? He's gone to ground, and it's a penalty for Everton. Josh Bowler grounded inside the penalty area, and the referee who was about 15 yards from the incident, had no hesitation in pointing to the spot. Do you know what he did well there, Joss? I think he was going down as soon as any... What he did, he, he took the ball and then he kind of moved into the Brighton, Brighton defender. If we, if we watch again, he's picked the ball up and he makes sure he cuts across. He's given the referee no option whatsoever. He's gone down and uh, we were unfortunate the other week not to mm. get a penalty. We've, we've got one here and I have every confidence in Broadhead they'll put this away. Well, Ed Turns was the man who made the challenge. He didn't really get anything on the ball. It's resulted in this spot kick. And Nathan Broadhead, from 12 yards, puts Everton in front. Comprehensively finished. The keeper went the right way, but it had enough pace to beat him quite easily. Yeah. Everton won, Brighton nil. Well, well taken penalty. I knew Nathan had put it away. But a great ball from Young Metcalf there for, the, for Josh Bowler. And now Brighton pick up again. And here's Danny Cashman posing a threat as he... Has done periodically in this game. And that ball in for Sam Packham. And that's a great save. A real chance for the substitute early in the second half. And Harry Tyra there closed him down very quickly and made an excellent stop. Harry's a big lad and he, he looked even bigger than when he spread himself. He, he came out, made himself big. We know he's a big lad anyway, but... The, the boy, the Brighton boy, didn't know where to go because he couldn't see any of the goal because mm. he came out so quick, made himself look so big. Bit of defending for Everton to do here. Cashman for Ulrich Eller. Oh, he's netted. That is a good finish. Ulrich Eller, the French forward, got himself into a decent position, but the initial work was done by Danny Cashman, who's posed a threat throughout here this afternoon at the Pure Stadium. And Brighton will feel they deserve to be back on level terms. Yeah, it's a strong finish. He's hit it powerfully across the keeper, Harry. It's a good little play there. Just fed him in. Garcia, the layoff for Hughes. The sweeping crossfield ball is perfection for Josh Bowler, who's taken it well. Something could well develop here for Everton. Garcia, back for Bowler. He's got the shot away. Just dipping, but... Dipping too late over the crossbar, just a foot or so over the crossbar of Carl Rushworth. That's great play, that. He started with Reese Hughes, crossfield ball, uh, terrific crossfield ball to, to bowl. He's come inside, played a couple of little one twos. Here's Imam, the Swedish midfielder, the heart of things for Everton. Now Josh Bowler, 
Bowler into the penalty area. Again, he's done well and went near post. The keeper got a touch on it. Will be an Everton corner, but he is the threat at the moment. He absolutely, Ali, is a threat. And uh, he's got good ability. So if, he, if he's on form like that and he wants the ball, keep giving him. Free kick. Jack Spong is the man on set-piece duty. And again, centre-backs are forward for Brighton. And it's high towards uh, Wakeley. And then the shot from Teddy Jenks was miskicked. And Leonard, well, his shot was picked up and produced in the end a very good save from the Everton keeper. But the flag was surely raised for offside. No, the flag did not go up. Just trying to spot the linesman here. And he's got his flag down. So the save mattered. It certainly did. I, I thought uh, there must have been uh, an offside there. A couple of great blocks, good That's save. That's a good ball from Josh Bowler for Nathan Broadhead to finish it. Blocked, and it was a good block too by Jack Wakeley inside the six-yard box just about to deny Broadhead. Yeah, looking at his reaction as well, he's got his hands on his head. He knows that could he have took it a little bit earlier than what he actually did. Could he hit it then? Mm. And here's Sam Packham down at the other end for Brighton. And that's the shot that comes in, which is well saved by Harry Tyra from Mark Leonard, who got the shot in. Yeah, good save. Got down early. Yeah. That's a booking as well, referee, if, you, if you're booking. It is, certainly is. Five blue jerseys inside the penalty area, one on the edge of it, and Kunku has gone for oh. goal. It only needed a touch from someone there. It's a decent ball in, you know. It's a terrific ball in, whipped in. That's the referee's that whistle. That is it. It is spoil shared once more between Everton and Brighton, as it was on the south coast earlier in the season.